Inspector General of Police Garda Gritokno has condemned the mass uprising, looting, destruction of properties and attempt to take over government buildings on Thursday by some individuals protesting against the hardship under President Bolatin Ms. Administration. Ngbeto Kno disclosed this during a live broadcast in response to the protest ordered all police units to be on red alert to ensure public safety. He said the events that took place in the major cities are where mass uprising are and looting, not protests. Regrettably, events in some major cities today show that what was being instigated was mass uprising and looting, not protest. Those who were in the forefront of promoting the idea of the protest were not around to lead it. Hoodlums have been let loose on innocent Nigerians and their hard-earned businesses and property looted and destroyed. The motive of the rioters was basically two loot and destroy both private and government property. The destruction so far has been mind-boggling. There have been destruction in Kano, Borno, Yobe, Kaduna, Gombe, Bauchi, FCT, Abuja, Niger, and Jigawa. Police stations have been destroyed. There have been attempts to take over government houses, looting of government infrastructures, several warehouses and shops, so far have been looted and in several instances completely destroyed. In places like FCT, Kaduna, Kano and Gombe, among others, we recorded incidents of unprovoked attacks on our security personnel, where one policeman has been reported murdered and others seriously injured. In the light of the current situation, the Nigerian police force has placed all units on red alert our officers are fully mobilized and prepared to respond swiftly and decisively to any further threats to public safety and order. We remain committed and resolute to protecting lives and property and ensuring that law, law and order are maintained across the nation. Groups who are hiding under the guise of exercise of a right provided in the Constitution to destabilize the country should also remember that the same constitution imposed on them the duty to obey the laws of the land and respect the rights of other citizens. The police is equipped to respond appropriately to the unfolding situations and will get assistance from other security agencies, including the military, if the need arises. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.